What's up guys, AJ with DNA Outdoors. I just got off shift this morning um, and we got a couple permits to go run. This weather's warming up, spring has sprung, gators are on the move and the permits are starting to roll in. So let's see what we can go get ourselves into today. Here we go, baby. All right guys, we're about to pull up to the first pond right here. Um, so this gator, he's in a small pond at a construction site and he's not being that big of a deal to them but they uh do have to drain this pond here uh, in the next day or two so um the pond's not going to be here for the gator to live in anymore uh it sounds like he might be under four feet so hopefully we'll be able to get to catch him and relocate him uh bring him down to the wildlife refuge uh where he could be a happy little gator so here we are pulling up there's a pond right there Let's uh, see if we can find them and see what we can get into. All right guys, so we're here. I can see the gator across the pond. Uh, he doesn't look very big, but uh, it is hard to tell exactly how big he is. We'll have to get him up here on the bank, uh, put a tape measure on him and see how long he is. All right, so the gator's back up. Hopefully this guy will let me cross. Shoot, he's gonna make it go back under. Heads up, man, heads up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Got the hook set, hopefully. There he is. Yeah, he doesn't have, he's got a little bit of seaweed. Let's see. Sure he's not done yet. Yeah, got a little bit of fight left in him. Let him wear himself out right here. Oh yeah, feisty little guy. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nice, I let you go. All right. Fat little guy. Yeah, I'm glad you oh, death rolling. Tail, Tape his mouth, cover his eyes. And he is secure. Good looking little gator right there. Yeah, he's fat. I wonder if he's been being fed. He's definitely eating well. So let's get a measurement. He is four foot eight. So he's over that four foot mark. Yeah. All right, pal, get in there. First gator of the day. Here we go, baby. All right, guys. So the second pond, I didn't see the gator. Um, now I'm pulling up to the third pond of the day, which uh, I did see this gator the other day. He was between six and seven feet, maybe, give or take. Um, I caught a seven footer out of here in the last video. If you uh, want to go back and check that out, that was a pretty fun one. Um, so. Let's see if we could find this guy. Here we go, baby. All right, so I got all my equipment out. I see a gator on the bank. Uh, it's really kind of hard to tell how big he is just because the angle that he's laying. Um, and 
the HOA here is pretty specific about which gator they want me and don't want me to catch because they have a couple of them here and they want the bigger ones caught. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start making my way over there and uh, see if he's the one we're looking for. So he's right here at the edge on the bank. Like I said, can't tell if he's the one that we're looking for or not. But we're going to make our way over there and find out. He looks to be a decent size, like it could be him. There he is. Yeah, that's him. That's good. There we go. So that worked out pretty perfectly. He was uh, sitting up here, basking on the banks, pretty much right where I pulled up. Let me get pretty close. He uh, eased his way on into the water. And uh, never really went under. He gave me the perfect opportunity to cast on him. The cast was good. Got him hooked. Now we'll tire him out. Pretty early on here, so he's right about six foot. Yeah, there we go. He's not ready yet. There he goes. His uh, head looked to be a little scarred up. Not ready yet. They got all that power in their tails. Alright, so he's starting to slow down. I'm going to see if he will give me a chance to get the catch pole on him. Oh, smart. Oh. Got it in his mouth. Get it out from his mouth. So close. Come here, buddy. Man, he keeps dropping his head. Away from the catch hole. Pick your head up. Oop, bit down on it. Keeps getting it in his mouth. Don't want it in his mouth. Want it oh, around his neck, just like that. There we go. So that's actually not hurting him. Uh, that's actually just securing him. Get him up on the bank. And we'll, uh, turning at me. Oh, come back up this way, buddy. Here, close his jaws. Yeah. A little scarred up. A little scarred up there, like he's been fighting with another gator. I'll tape his mouth, cover his eyes, and we got a caught gator. 
we'll get them to the truck and get a measurement on them. This guy's pretty beat up. Um, and it may be from that bigger gator that I caught a few days ago. But, uh, we'll get a measurement on this guy. He is six foot on the dot. All right guys, so this gator here, he is six foot. Um, and I caught that bigger gator out of here the other day, which likely is the one that left all these scars on him. So you can see right here, and these are down to the skull. Um, right here, let me try and turn this guy around. Right here is another scar. It looks like it's actually still healing. Comes up here, goes around and back down here, which is from another gator grabbing a hold of him here. Uh, and then he's got some scarring on his tail here. Plus he's missing a couple little, little uh, scoots there. So this guy's been getting beat up and it's probably from that bigger gator that we took out of here. Uh, about a week ago so they're gonna be happy these ones are out of here uh, so second gator on the day we got a couple more ponds to check here we go baby all right guys we're pulling up to i think this is maybe pond number five for the day um like i was saying this looks like a smaller gator maybe somewhere around um four feet or so sorry i thought i just saw him up on the bank over there um so let's see if we can find him and uh see what we can get into so haven't seen the gator yet but here's a little black racer there he goes oh back up on land there we go oh yeah i got him this time Get them up and away from all these lily pads and stuff. There he is, little fella. I would normally try to tire him down a little bit more, but since he's been such a little pain in the butt, I'll try to just get him to catch pull right now. All right, we got him for sure. Get him up here. He's a little bigger than I thought. And a feisty little guy. Get him up here at all this tall grass. All right. here all right guys we got us an alligator he's a fat little guy fat little guy for sure got him. he is taped and caught all right that's gator number three for the day boys and girls here we go he was definitely a little bit bigger than i thought still not a huge gator by any means but three he is four foot nine four nine so he's almost five foot Unfortunately, we won't be able to relocate this guy like we were originally hoping, but um, but he is no longer a danger to this family, their two-year-old, or their dogs. 
All right, guys, so we got that third gator. He was a little bit bigger than I thought he was going to be. Um, just because the pictures that they sent me, he looked kind of small. Once I got here, I noticed he was a little bit bigger. He ended up being like four foot ten. So, uh, yeah, we got a couple ponds that I'm going to try and check out later today. If not, maybe tomorrow. Um, but we got three on the day. We got the six footer, four eight, and four ten. So, nothing huge, but uh, good times. The gators are moving. It's just going to keep on getting busier here. Here we go, baby.